so this might be a little hard for me to record. Um, I had been missing for about a month, and it was because I lost my jazz. <laughs> um, so it might be a little sad, because you know how many times jazz has been in these videos on YouTube. You've seen her multiple times, and this video with my three dogs was supposed to be about, you know, drawing from life and wanting to draw my dogs from life and how going outside and drawing from life could encourage you or if you ever came to a bad art block, how you could get out of the art block and I wanted to ultimately show you guys how you should draw the things that you love to inspire you to draw and especially drawing from life and I was going to give the example of use your animals as examples. I'm trying. <laughs> um, so I wanted to, so this is the original recording of me drawing from life of my three dogs and Jazzy has been my dog since I was 16 years old. I'm now 28. But the point I wanted to tell you guys is if you have a loss or you're feeling sad, art can help you. And that's something that I owe a lot to Steven, um, my husband. He said to draw when you're hurting and to draw jazz because it helps. It helps you get through it. Um, when I got jazz, I was only 16 and <laughs> she was the only puppy out of the breeder that we usually, we got her from the same breeder. We got Maggie, our other dog. And she was the only puppy that was screaming, screaming as in she wanted to get out and she was trying to escape from the cage. And, um, I, I wanted her. I wanted her because she was annoying and she was loud like me. So I wanted her and I picked her out and she was my best friend. And I just wanted to explain to you guys why I was gone for so long. And it's because I lost her recently, and it was really unexpected. It was really, really unexpected. I thought I at least had two more years, because our Snowsers usually live till they were 16 years old, or 15 or 16 or 17. And we just lost our one dog, Maggie, who was Jazz's sister, about six months ago. And then, it's like Jazz, Jazz lost her sister, and it broke her heart. I can't, I can't explain to you guys. Art really did help me get through this. And it was sad and I really wanted to make a tribute to her because drawing your lost loved ones really does help and it'll get you through it. And art can definitely heal your heart. You shouldn't, it shouldn't, you should not get to an art block when you're sad. I know you can get sad, but art can heal your heart. I've learned that, and I've learned that through drawing jazz. I had so many stupid names for her, and she was my best friend, and anyone that says that a loss of an animal doesn't count like losing a human in your life, that means a lot to you. They're like humans. They are our pets, our loved ones. I don't care if it's a hamster or a gerbil. They were there for you, and they show unconditional love. And that's, that's how I truly think that we can see Jesus' love is through our animals because they love you. They really do. Maybe not a hermit crab, but you know. Dogs, cats, horses, gerbils, hamsters, or guinea pigs. They love you. They have unconditional love. You're their person. And I'm not trying to be sad. I just, you guys have known Jazz through my whole art YouTube career. As long as I've been on YouTube, Jazz has shown up. My Jazzy has shown up. I actually, fun fact, when I got her, I wanted her to have the name of something musical. I want, she had to have the name of a flower because that was our tradition with our Snowsers. And she had to have a name that was a Disney princess. So I picked Jasmine and her name was Jazzy for short. And I called her Jazz a lot. <laughs> Uh, and she was my best friend. She got me through so many hard times. She was my she was my real life stuffed animal. And if it wasn't for art, 
drawing her as much as I did. This is the fourth drawing I have drawn of my baby. And it helps. It really does, guys. But I just wanted to explain it to you. I, don't, I know I don't post many sad videos on here. I try to be happy. But I just really wanted you guys to know that why I was gone for so long. And it was just, it hurt. It hurt a lot and it was hard to find motivation and life's a little crazy and I'm just trying to get through a real day, everyday life. And I just, it was hard to keep going and it's hard to go back home because my home's in North Carolina, but my new home with my husband is in Indiana. And so it's going to be really hard to go home and she won't be there. But I'm so happy I got to see her one more time. She, um, Snowshers have, um, bad blood sugars. It's just the breed. It's just like, I hear that greyhounds get cancer a lot. And Great Danes don't live that long because they have a short, shorter lifespan than most dogs. But Snowshers are known for pancreatitis. And she had it. And she developed diabetes because it's snowsers have fatty livers livers it's just it's just in the breed it wasn't anything we did wrong it's just how some people are have a tendency for sicknesses and everything and she just didn't make it i really thought she would too and i'm really gonna miss her and i really encourage all of you if you lose a loved puppy or cat or pet or anything <laughs> draw them don't don't shy away from it it helps release it. Use art as a way when you're sad or depressed. Art should be your escape. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. I just wanted to share it and I wanted this to be a tribute to my, my baby. I'll miss her so much and I don't want another dog because I just want my jazz. I'll talk to y'all later. Hopefully on a happier note. I'll see you all later.